Uh, Don Cabral, fifth place in the mile. What did you think out there? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't a particularly great performance by me. Uh, a lot better than I was expecting. I've had two really pretty bad weeks and, and tough training and uh, workouts have been really bad. Then I had one good one on Thursday and realized that you know I, I had my legs back under me. So. I ran pretty well for the circumstances, I think. Right. Now, what, you said you were kind of struggling last week. What, what's been going on? Have you been sick or just too much volume? What's, what's no, the problem? Yeah, no, not, not sickness or anything. Um, just just really like under all the training, you know? I kind of think of it as like you're compressing a spring as you train, and then eventually you let go of that spring, but uh, and you, you know, that's when you reach your peak. But my spring was just like completely, <laughs> completely compressed and came out of it a little bit for this week and for this race. But... I don't I don't really know what to make of it yet. I've only had about a minute to think about it. Right. It seems to me like you're someone that's always sort of understood that it's not like where you are now, it's where you are later in the season. I mean, one of the comments I said was you were third at the indoor haps and then in the Olympic final. So does it, does it give you, do you, is it easier to keep your confidence because you've done it in the past, sort of turned it on when you needed to? Yeah. Uh, I've never, in, in, you know, since uh, all my four years at Princeton, I was never in good shape at this time of the year. Pretty much like Penn Relays weekend was the first time I ever felt any good. But at the same time, you know, I wish I could be someone who, who does it every week of the season, but uh, that's, just, that's just never been me. So, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of a... I don't know what it is, but I have to I have to be able to put my pride aside for a lot of races and go and have fun and, and use them as, as training and good competition. But it, it's not always what I want. But hopefully, you know, USA's, my coach has said my season starts at USA's. So uh, I plan on being fast until then, but that's when I really, that's when I'm really going to hit it. Right. Um, you talked about your coach. I mean, he coached you in high school. Now, did he keep working with you at Princeton? How did, what made you decide to go back to him? And how did, how did that all go down? No, he, he didn't coach me at Princeton or anything like that. We kept in touch and um, I keep my log public and online so he's he's read every workout I've ever done. Um, but he he really just he, he knows me pretty well and I trust his training. Um, so after I graduated from Princeton I was thinking about you know a bunch of different options and and he was just one of most I felt most comfortable with. Right. But do you have any training partners out there or is it nope. Nope. So uh, we'll see. Uh, that, that's that's the hardest part of it right now is just um, living kind of in the middle of nowhere and not really having training partners but um, I'm moving to Park City in a couple weeks and hopefully I'll be around some people there and, and hopefully that'll bring me something different. Right, so where do you go from here? What, what, what do you have on, on, on the schedule for the further? Uh, I've got a 10K on the roads in Vancouver, Canada next week and then I might, I'm thinking about the steeple 400 hurdle double uh, the following week at Western Washington at, at, like in, at, my, at my track in town in uh, Washington. And then, and then the San Diego, San Diego one mile, and the rerun one mile, Oxy steeple, pre steeple, and USA's I think that'll be it. So flat 400. What what can you run? Uh, 53.9 at the end of Penn Relays is my PR. No, 53.0 in a workout last summer. Oh okay. Uh, so and the 400 hurdles. What do you think? Any chance? Definitely uh, sub 60, sub 55. 56, 57. But I mean, I've never gone over 400 hurdles before, so I, I have no idea. It'll be fun though. It'll teach me how to really hurdle fast at the end of a race and attack the barriers when I'm when I'm kicking, like a world championship style race, or you know maybe this year at USA's it'll be a, a real hard close or something. So I'm hoping I, I take something from it. Which comes first, the steeple or the 400 hurdle and the double? Steeple. So. Yeah. I, there's a chance I might go steeple 800 double, yeah. um, but maybe steeple 400 hurdles just for the just for the just for the story, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds fun. We'll be looking out for it. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Thanks.